We are on the journey to achieving 50,000 subscribers. All I ask is that you like the video, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. <sighs> are you sick and tired of losing all them arena points? Doing so well, then losing it all. Death after death, round after round. Then look no further. I'm about to help you never lose an arena point again. Make sure to watch the end of the video to know all the steps to assure you always get points and not lose any more arena points ever again. Okay guys, moving on with today's video. I'm going to be teaching you guys the tips and tricks that I use to guarantee me the best possible points for my playstyle. And I'm gonna be sharing all these tips and tricks with you, whether you are an aggressive player, an amateur player, or even a trash player. If this video does go ahead and help you out, make sure you smash the like button and subscribe with them post notification bell turned on. We are on the road to 50k subs, we're getting closer and closer each day, like we're literally so close to 40k at the time of recording this video, so make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel and help us reach our goal of our milestone. So without further ado, let's get on with today's video. I'm going to be teaching you guys different ways to execute different scenarios based on your playstyle, whether you're aggressive, an amateur, or even a trash player like I said. So there's going to be different ways you're going to have to like execute different playstyles, whether you're going to have to push them fights, whether you're going to leave them fights, whether you are going to just go ahead and, you know, run away from them fights. If, depending on how you want to go ahead and get your points, it's up to you. From my own opinion, I would definitely recommend never pushing a fight unless you know you're going to win. I would definitely recommend never pushing a fight at all, in my own opinion, due to the fact of, I'd, if I was you guys, I would honestly rather just go ahead and bait players out like I do. I like to throw a little bit of, like, loot down so they go for the loot. Easy kills, easy shots to get them placement points because say if your friend is in, let's say, Champions League, but then you're sat down in there in Division 4, Division 5, whichever, your friends are going to be like, whoa, you're trash, bro. But you could probably be like, right, I'm going to go and pull off a 14 kill game now. Yeah, you might get a 14 kill game, but you're probably going to lose about 500 arena points just trying to get them that, that 14 kill game. Well, you might as well go ahead and, you know, just get, get one or two kills a game and get them placement points whether they're coming 10th, 11th or 12th. Yes, the pain might be painful trying to get them points, but you're going to walk away with a lot more points and then your friends can't be looking at you going, bro, you're trash. You can literally be like, bro, who's got more arena points now? They don't know how many kills you got. At the end of the day, you can play it however you want to play it. As long as you are thinking about every single move you guys make and outplaying your opponents to the best of your ability, you're always going to come out with more arena points than anybody else. And you're going to eventually be Champions League and stuff like that. With these simple tricks and tips and tricks, you can be such... It's, it have so many points, it is honestly ridiculous. Okay guys, in this next clip, I'm going to show you guys the passive play I take in this next match. So as you can see by the zone, the zone was actually outside of the map itself. So this was a great, I, I had a great idea in this next game. I was going to play it so I could go as far outside of the zone as I possibly could whilst following the zone in and see how long I could stay in the water for. I thought this was a very good idea and that is what I went ahead and did. As you can see in this next clip here, I actually do against this guy in a fight and he has the minigun and me and the minigun just do not go. I literally panic so much when someone's got the minigun. I actually hate the minigun so much. I hope this gun gets taken out of the game. It is the worst gun in the entire world. Okay, so we pop the shield here. I'm going to speed up the clip for you guys just so you guys can see what I'm doing. Uh, however, I don't want you guys sitting here for like ages just spectating this whole entire clip. But as you can see here, I'll go going ahead and try to get this boat and see how far I can take outside of the zone to maybe even try and camp outside of the zone with the boat. However, there was a limit to where the boat could go and I was not able to go outside of the zone with the boat, which is very unfortunate. So I was like, right, never mind then. So we ended up swimming towards the zone, which I thought was a great idea as well. I do have a harpoon, so I was in a great position to go ahead and fish maybe, if I could find any fish. Unfortunately, I don't. But we go ahead and try and get this boat and try and go outside of the zone. It was quite far away, but as you can see here, the boat just kept turning around, which was kind of annoying. So I ended up swimming all the way into the zone to see if I could get inside of the zone. And as you can see, we do make it outside of the zone here, outside of the map. Uh, we go right into the zone. So this position right now, it is very, very boring. I'm not going to lie. It is very, very boring. However, it is very helpful due to the fact that this is an arena game. This is all about placement. And as you can see in this game, I literally don't even do anything. My hands are off the mouse and keyboard. I'm literally just floating in the water. 
and getting these placement points. It's this simple. This is what you guys need to do. Camp it. If you want to get placement points, camp. This will literally cause you to never lose an arena game. This is me speeding the clip over. As you can see, my legs are going like 10 to a dozen. But just camp it. And you can. You don't have to do anything. You can literally just camp it until the zone starts moving in. Or wherever you are, just camp the zone. Because that is will get you wins and guaranteed points every single game. Without a shadow of a doubt. As you can see here, I'm actually just spectating these these guys, you know, fighting and stuff like that. Because I had no reason to go ahead and start shooting them and start fighting. So I'm just trying to hide my head just in case. That's why I was trying to do them little funny, funny swims there. Uh, but as you can see here, I'm just kind of seeing if I can pick people off, you know, with my with my pistols, just see if I can hit people. But I was tracking them to see where they were to make sure no one could actually snipe me and see. You know, I just kind of just talking to myself about this build fight. Who was going to win, who wasn't going to win, you know, just enjoying the, just enjoying it. Honestly, and then I was like, can I get one shot off? And, and I hit one shot there. I don't know if you saw it, but I hit for like 19 damage or something. Uh, if you can always try and pick up an opponent just without one or two damage, you never know. You never know how weak that opponent is unless you try and tag them. So I'm slowly moving with the zone, as you can see. I'm moving very, very slowly to try and get myself inside of the zone. So I'm able to, you know, go ahead and maybe find someone, pick someone off. And just as well so I don't get sniped as well because getting sniped is the worst feeling ever. So as you can see here, I'm being really sneaky right now because this game is all about passive plays and making sure you make the right decisions and stuff like that. Unfortunately, I just let you guys know, I don't go ahead and win this game. You're trash, kid. Unfortunately, I get RPG'd, which is so annoying. But I reckon I could have had a chance if I didn't get RPG'd, but unfortunately, I did. So, as you can see here, I'm just spectating the game, making sure I'm not getting caught by the zone. Uh, this time, I thought I'm going to move really early into the zone, get my box, bo box my location up, and make sure I'm safe. So, I've, I know I've got the materials for this. I'm, I've got okay guns. I've not got the best, but I've got alright guns. And as you can see here, I'm in a great position. I am boxed up in a position where nobody else is. I start tunneling into the zone to make sure I've got a little bit of location in, some, in case someone pushes one wall. Say, if I'm, say, for example, I've only got one box, right? For, for example, I've only got one wall, right? I, if, if he takes that wall, I've got nowhere else to go because he's going to try and take that wall. However, now I've got several boxes to move to. Here is a great example of this working. Yeah, um, tax are shit. Yeah, so as you can see there, tax are honestly terrible. Like, they are literally the worst gun in the game. I hate, I despise the tax so much. I hate tax and I hate miniguns. Like, get them out of the game. I don't like them. You probably absolutely love tax. Like, a lot of you guys probably do love tax. However, pumps are so much better. I've always loved the pump. I've always been a pumping guy, you know what I'm saying? I've never liked the tax. But yeah, anyways, onto this clip anyways, you can see, uh, we're going ahead and, you know, building as much as possible, making sure we've actually got rotation between two boxes, and pushing when it's possible, like you say, guys, make sure I've got that high ground before I can push, if I've got that high ground, I'm in a great position, and you can see in this clip here, I actually do lose high ground here, right here is where I lose high ground, and this guy is able to retake that high ground on me, as you can see here, which puts me in a very, very vulnerable position. Being on the low ground is also one of the worst positions, always try and get that high ground back as fast as possible. I do mess around well I do mess around with a lot of my builds here. However, I'm able to take the high ground back here as you can see. Uh, but it doesn't actually give me the best position possible. Because you know we are not in the best position. We can see the launch pad is what we're going for. We're going straight for that launch pad to try and low pad into the zone, guys, or short launch, whichever you want to call it. Uh, as you can see here, we do a nice we do a nice short pad there. Uh, straight to where this guy is here, and this guy was a very good player, so I box myself back up, rotating back and forth into the zone, because I want to make sure I'm in the zone, I want to make sure I'm not panicking. And again, guys, if you're inside the zone, do not panic, you are fine inside of the zone. But yeah, this guy here is where you can see here, I'm actually going to try and I harpooned him here, which is a fantastic harpoon. Hit him for 31 damage, again, tax are so bad, and there we go, we get destroyed by the RPG. Fuck you, kid. Okay, then, guys, that's going to wrap up for today's video. I hope this video did indeed help you out in any way, shape, or form. If you've got any more video ideas you want me to do, please let me know in the comment section down below, and I'll be down to read them and down to do the videos you guys want me to do, as I love helping you guys out with these arena tips and tricks videos. Uh, so, yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure you smash that like button, smash the sub button, and I shall see you guys in the next video.